Chelsea have hired the All Blacks leadership manager and mental skills coach, Gilbert en Enokra, I think it's pronounced, on a short-term consultancy basis to instil a winning mentality at the club. Now, he was part of the coaching staff when New Zealand won the Rugby World Cup in 2011 and 2015. Spent 15 years there. Um, it will be his first job in, in football. My understanding is his job is to come in and spot the, the players that think they're, and I'm, I'm toning this down, that think they're too big for their boots. Mm. And maybe try and get everyone Pratt. on. Pardon? Pratt. That's another word. Yeah. Mm. Burks is another word. Yeah. Idiots, plunkers, whatever you want to call them. But here's the thing, right? And, and I'm asking you this question. I don't know the answer, but rugby players are totally different to footballers, right? Mm. Footballers are multi-millionaires. Yeah. Rugby players aren't. And, and I get the, the feeling that it, there's a lot more respect in the rugby world than there is in the footballing world. Yeah, because rug, rugby, there's, it's, a, it's a lot more... I mean, listen, I don't know that many rugby players, but I'm guessing the money is pretty much on the... Level. Saying, on the level, level where you, you're talking about crazy sums of money for for, for some footballers. So with, with that comes a different... Not all footballers, because some of them are great guys. You know what I mean? I've, I've been one. But that's that level of wealth comes with a certain ego attached to it with, with certain players mm -hmm. do you know what I mean so do I think it's a good idea I, I do but I'm not quite sure how it's going to work because for, if he comes into the dressing room and I'm taking I'm using Bamiang for an example because he has been labelled a bad egg I don't know him personally but he was labelled a bad egg at Arsenal which is why Arteta got him out mm -hmm. he then went to Barcelona they got rid of him he's at Chelsea same thing's happening there if he go, if he this coach goes up to him and basically tries to kind of work, interact with him and all the Chelsea players would have read that this guy's coming in to officially get rid of the bad eggs, right? Yeah. So if he goes straight up to you and says, right, Hayden, try to build a rapport with you, straight away in your head, you're going to be thinking, well, you must think I'm a bad egg. Yeah. So you, obviously, with your, with your totally. ego, you've been, a, you've been a top, top player, you're earning fortunes, you're just going to say to him, well, to be honest, I don't really care what you're saying to me, if I'm honest. I'll be polite to you, but... I'm not, I haven't got any intention of working with you, so... Yeah. This it's is as far as this conversation goes. Do you think it's Graham Potter's idea? Maybe, but I mean, it's, there's, there's a lot of going nons at that football club. And listen, this can't be to instill in a winning mentality because they're at a football club which is renowned for winning trophies. Mm. The last 20 years, they've won, they could have... I know they didn't win anything. Well, they won the Club World Cup last year, didn't they, Chelsea? But they were also in two cup finals, the League Cup, and they lost a kick of a ball on penalties. That's right. So they still won something last year. So you talk about a club that's been very successful certainly the, in, in recent times. Will this work? I don't know. And I'm not sure. quite sure. Unless Graham Potter's okayed it. But is Graham Potter... I mean, okay, two questions. Is Graham Potter the manager not paid to manage? Mm -hmm. And if he hasn't okayed this, if Todd Bowley or whoever said, it, does that not show maybe he thinks he's... that, that Bowley's not strong enough to sort his players out? He's bringing someone well, else but in. Bowley thinks that, that Graham Potter's not strong enough to yeah. do Well, there, there's an argument to that because Graham Potter, who's I think is a fantastic coach has never managed players of this at that level. Mm. You talk about superstars that have got egos that I mean, have been at the, the top, top level. Now, the flip side to that is you can see someone like, someone say Arteta, for instance. But the only difference with Arteta is that he was at Manchester City. So even though he wasn't the manager, he was working with these top, top players. So mm. he, he probably had Pep's blessing if he's out of line, say something to him. So when he got the Arsenal gig, it wasn't for hard for him to move on Ozil. Remember, he got rid of Ozil, got rid of uh, Guendouzi, whose attitude was supposed to stink, yeah. got rid of Aubameyang. So he did that. We've seen it before. Um, look at Ten Hag. Ten Hag's another one. He, 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 got, he got rid of a whale. Like some, something we've never a, seen before. A whale? Ronaldo. What do you mean a whale? Because he's huge. You mean a goat? Like a goat. He's, he's got rid of one of the greatest oh, players. What do you mean a whale? Because that massive, any whale's huge in the ocean. He's, um... <laughs> is, that a, is that a thing? Yeah, he's he got, got rid, rid of the whale. whale. Yeah. yeah. Everyone has a little fish. He's a whale. Oh right, okay, yeah, yeah. Now, now that, it makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So Ten Hag had to go, had to get rid of one of the greatest players ever. The whale. The whale. Yeah. And look, he did it. It and didn't. He didn't get everyone's backing, by the way, because there were a lot of supporters out there who were going, "Well, how could he do this to Ronaldo?" Yeah. And he had to do it. So. But it's so the right decision. It is the right decision, but I always feel you need to leave it to the manager. Let the manager manage. If he's going to come in and help him, fair enough. But you how, how would you feel if you were in a dressing room? And the club employed someone to... You Get know, the eggs. And they, straight away, first day, Benny can have a word. I'd be like, yeah, why? And then I'm sitting here across from you going, oh, Benny's obviously a bad egg, look yeah. at him. I'd be like, why? Yeah. So the conversation would have to go from... It's a, it's a very strange appointment, and I don't think it's something Graham Potter needs right now. Okay. This is just and, another side story. And also, yeah, and also strange that he's never been involved in football. The world of rugby and football is totally different. Yeah, because totally the, the finances. Yeah. And there's a le I almost feel like there's a level of respect in rugby, like, like maybe totally. in football that's a little bit... The, mm. Well, the way the, the way the players 
talk to the referees yeah. in rugby. You'll never get that sound no. in football. Talk Sport Drive. Super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.